Hi sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much and I am saying massive shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here. I am truly grateful. Thank you all so much. So today we'll be talking something very important. And it's about a black lady sharing her experience at Love's Law, right? And what happened? She actually went there to grab something and uh, she was served with, in a dirty container, right? And she actually reported to the manager and they said, okay, yeah, fine. We're going to uh, give you something else. You don't have to pay for it. And while she was waiting to get like, you know, con uh, I think uh, something plastic and the rest of it, and they started at the, at the lady that was serving her started mumbling racial slurs and uh i mean before she could know what was going on i mean a man also there at the queue joined and started calling her dumb b right and used so many uh so many racial slurs on her and also called her the with the er right you know, while she was trying to wrap all that uh, on her, the man, like, you know, kind of slap, gave her a backhand and uh, tried choking her. I mean, and people were all there watching and not do anything. I mean, there were so many white people standing there. She was the only black person there. Not only was she assaulted and called so many things, they bar her also from the place. We don't want to see you here again. She actually called them back that she want to see the video because she wanted to like, you know, take it up. And they said, sorry, we don't have the video anymore. And uh, they got the cops involved. And I am hoping that the cops will do uh, justice to this because this is a whole lot. Send me to the screen. I'm just going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. And I absolutely want to read all your comments. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So straight up, let me roll the clip. So my sister was assaulted um, by a racist man at the Loblaws at Pickering Parkway and Liverpool. And I wasn't going to say anything about it. But I can't, I can't not, not say anything. It is not me, it's not who I am. And I just feel like there's so many lessons to be learned here and there's so many things that went wrong that should have been dealt with differently by not only those at Loblaws, but by, but by bystanders as well. So um, I'm just so upset about it, like I can't. Um, so let's start at the beginning. Yesterday, around 3.30, my sister went to Loblaws um, to get food. And you know how like you could go to the stands within Loblaws and get food? Um, there was a lady there that my sister's always gotten just weird energy from, and she just never knows why, but my sister can be a little bit like passive sometimes, so she just let it slide most times. But today, this lady was just doing too much. She was, um, she gave her a dirty container. She gave her no fork. The food was very like little in comparison to the others. Um, and she had to say something. She said, today, enough is enough. I'm going to say something. And she spoke to manager. She showed them the food and management was like, yeah, this is not okay. I'm going to give you the food for free. Um, and so she goes back to the lady because she has to get a plastic bag and a fork and all that stuff. And the lady starts to mumble, um, what my sister is saying as racial slurs underneath her breath. Now, obviously in the moment, that stuff is going to catch you off guard. And my sister, um, obviously is going to say something back um while she's talking to that lady or saying stuff back or whatever the situation is a gentleman in the line was like at this point you know racist unite and um saw this as an opportunity to not only call my sister a dumb bitch or a stupid bitch or whatever but to also call her a nigger and to use the hard er with it um and in that situation, obviously, that is a lot. My sister is the only black person in this incident because the lady serving her is white. The gentleman is white. And so she's going to feel attacked and like a lot is happening. Um, and so that situation is probably getting heated as it. I don't know how else someone could react to 
being called a nigger, being called racial slurs and all this stuff happening simultaneously. Anyways, in the heat of all that, the gentleman then decides to not only backhand my sister, but to put his hands around her neck. And um, I'm so upset about this because I just say that she was by herself. Um, and she said that there was other white people watching and doing nothing. Um, and that in the situation, people were more mad at her than him because, you know, she, she wasn't quiet or she, they're saying she, you're younger and he's older. Cause I guess the gentleman's in his sixties or whatever, that she should have been better at handling the situation because she's younger and i just don't think that people would come to you and say that if she was a white woman in the same situation so i just hate the fact that she was alone and people were attacking her and making her overthink that she was not she was the one that was in the wrong when speaking to management management told her to take a walk <laughs> to take a walk after she was assaulted in their Loblaws establishment, management told her to take a walk. My sister didn't know what to do. A lot of this happened really fast. Um, and just in the kerfuffle, people attacking her, telling her she was in the wrong, whatever. She goes for a walk and she goes back to work. She is distraught. She's crying and she calls the police um, and talks to them. She tries to get back in contact with Loblaws and, you know, obviously she what are we doing about the situation because the situation is not resolved and Loblaws bans her from their establishment um this is currently under investigation um Loblaws said that they don't have access to their cameras um i'm assuming they now do um now that police is involved um and i'm hoping that there is a rev resolution to this but my biggest thing that is sickening to me is the fact that as black folks we have to be the perfect victim in order to be seen or taken serious or for people to take our sides we are not allowed to react we are not allowed to have human emotions and we're not allowed to um uh, be anything but docile or we are somehow always in the wrong a gentleman literally physically assaulted my sister and people told my sister she's in the wrong for whatever reason for being loud for talking bad for cussing or i don't know what she did but the fact that she was seen as to be in the wrong and not the gentleman that physically attacked a woman is so disgusting to me and the fact that love laws does not have protocol for this the fact that love laws made my sister feel as if she was the the problem the way the fact that love laws banned my sister and i'm pretty sure he's not banned from the situation um the fact that so many things were just left i'm quite disgusted with and something needs to be done about and i just want to say too that if you see a situation like this that you standing by and just watching you're part of the problem and that is not okay especially in a dynamic of which a white man is racially disrespecting someone and physically assaulting them so my sister was assaulted um by a racist man at the Okay, this is like my first TikTok. I just saw that video. Please watch that video. Um, it's not that I'm shocked. It's just that we actually need to amplify stories like this because y'all don't seem to think that racism in Canada is a problem. But stories like this, I hear way too often. Um, and I really hope that that creator, her sister is getting the support that she needs. Um, and that hopefully the Toronto Police Department is like doing something about it. Um, my faith in the cops is not the strongest, but um, amplify this. Loblaws needs to do better. Um, and this woman needs to get the support that she needs because having a man put his hands on her and y'all just watched? Absolutely fucking. So my sister was assaulted um, by a racist man at the... Okay, go listen to her story, y'all. But listen, why...
why one time me and my mom, we were watching, so I wasn't alone. Me and my mom were watching my little cousins track me at Cuyamaca College. I believe it was Cuyamaca. I can't remember. Monta Vista, I can't remember. San Diego shit. Why was it this white man that was trying to see his daughter? And I kept standing up for my cousin, like clapping for her. Why did he grab my shoulders and force me to sit down? And I was a kid. So I looked at my mom like, you gonna do, hello? And he had apologized and stuff, but it just made me realize like, how little power we have. So pray for this girl, pray for this girl. Cause now I'm standing up for myself and my mom, she's an amazing mama bear. It was just a moment of shock for both of us. And we were just realizing like, wow, like, wow. So my sister was assaulted um, by a racist man at the- Hi everybody, Mo Davis, the tribeless outsider. Abuse is everyone's business. So I'm glad you're saying something. And quite frankly, I'm very disappointed that nobody else said anything while she was there. Please go to the original poster, watch the video and hear what happened to her sister. But in a nutshell, her sister was grabbed by the neck by another person at the grocery store. And why you may ask? Well, the sister who is beautiful like her sister, okay, was not the sh same shade of skin as an old man who witnessed an altercation, not an altercation, but a disagreement between the customer, who is the sister, and the person who was serving her, who was of a color, and served them dirty food on purpose. We can conclude that it's on purpose because we are all Canadian and we all know what's going on here. Or we all live in Canada and we all know what's going on here. What blows my mind is the fact that people witness this old man grab this woman by the neck. And they told her to calm down. And then the grocery store has the audacity to bar the woman whose neck got strangled in their store for simply being a different color of skin. Somebody explain this to me, please. Somebody please explain this to me because the math ain't math. And first off, I'm sorry I wasn't in that lineup. Because if that man did that in front of me, I'm going to stop there. Because we know what my middle name is and we don't want to know where I'm going to go if I get caught saying something that is, you know, not sensible as a woman of color. But this is another proud display of why you should never come to Canada. If you're a person of color and you have the choice to immigrate, do not come here. Do not assume that the privilege of a job is going to shelter you from such abuse because this girl was employed in a good job in an office where the rest of her colleagues gaslit the shit out of her when she told them about getting assaulted in public. Man, this country is gross. The weaponized incompetence is gross. The passive complacency and a, being an accomplice to abuse is just gross. All of it is just gross. I can't anymore. So my sister was assaulted um, by a racist man. At I want to start by saying you should go back and watch this person's video. What ended up happening was a worker at a Loblaws in Pickering gave a black woman a dirty container and was being rude to her and then also uttered a racial slur under her breath. At this point, an elderly white man got involved and as the confrontation continued, he hit her and started saying the N-word. Management finally got involved. They told the victim to take a walk and then later banned her from the establishment, also saying that they couldn't access the cameras. As this incident was going on, bystanders were watching it happen and they were telling the victim that it was her fault that it happened. Police are now involved, but all we have to go on for now is the video made by the victim's sister on TikTok, which once again, I highly recommend you go back and watch. Because even if we are missing some details, even if the victim did do something to instigate something, there is no rational world in which the response that occurred is a regular, rational response that should be occurring, especially in Canada. Because what it seems like is that there was a black woman who was an ongoing victim of racism at the same Loblaws, and when she finally spoke out against it, she was attacked. And hopefully the police will be able to help resolve this situation.
So my sister was assaulted um, by a racist man at the Loblaws. Go back and watch this video if you can. Uh, it's a painful watch and I'm not going to say much more uh, than to stand here and try and amplify this person's voice who's obviously in deep distress and feeling an awful lot of pain. What I want to acknowledge is that this is just sadly one incident. I'm sure that this person uh, and their family members would have to deal with amongst, I would say, probably dozens of microaggressions every day. Uh, add that up over weeks, months, years. Yeah, this is Canada and this stuff is quote unquote not supposed to happen, but it does happen. And when you add up all of those microaggressions and they fester into a wound that may be ready to open up, when an incident like this happens, it could have been significantly worse for all involved. And sadly, the person who would probably suffer the most is truly the victim in this situation. The person who just wanted to go for lunch. The person who just needed some food to eat. Folks, we need to do better. Anyone standing by here needs to step forward and say something. Even if it's just to calm the situation down by asking the man to step aside and have a conversation. Even if it's to step in and have a discussion with the worker and to tell them that you, as a fellow white person or uh, a non-racialized person in our country are going to take this forward and speak to management. You. I'll give you a, one, one more piece of information here. Folks who have to deal with this stuff every single day, whether it's for racial, gender, poverty reasons, any other reasons why people are marginalized in our country, they're really tired. They're really tired. And they need folks like us to step up. And hey, I'm a middle-aged white guy. I get it. I've got some privilege. But I also understand sometimes the, the perspective that you want to take, which is things are really tough for me too. And I get that. I grew up behind the eight ball. I understand. I relate. I should have been dead many years ago for all the things I've had to endure. Yet... I'm still afforded the very basic privilege of walking into a situation almost anywhere I go in any capacity and not being treated poorly just because people look at me and see me as less than. Do better, folks. All right, so this is all we got from the stitches. And first of all, I am sending all my love to this young lady because this is very emotional. Like, I was watching this and I was also boiling like, why do we have to be the one to endure everything? I mean, she was giving dirty something. I mean, she was the one at the receiving end. And in the end, they also she also got assaulted. And they were telling her to keep calm. I mean, how do people do things like this and then ask people to like, keep calm? And look like... I don't know. I am disgust. Like they disgust me most times because I don't see how somebody in his right senses, not just only using racial slurs and went for that to. What was his plan? What was like? What was he thinking? Or what? What? What did he actually want? What did he wanted to do to the lady? Oh my goodness! An older person. Man, really, like, there are some things I see and I am like, my brothers and sisters, if I have ever said anything wrong about you all, talking about those racist people and all that, please forgive me. I understand better. Really. I mean, people go through this on a daily basis because there is no day I open my phone and I I don't see them doing so many horrible things to black people and I really do 
hope that the police do their job diligently and at the same time pay the man back because he did like and also lawsuit because like you wanted to kill me what was your plan man really this is right so much draining thank you all so much for all the love and support see you all in my next video bye for now